Hi there. My name is Adrian, and I want to tell you about 66 days of CIE. Do you want to know what it is and how you can get involved? Great, let's get started. So 66 days of CIE or 66 days of computer aided engineering was inspired by a fellow YouTuber, Kenji. I am a mechanical engineer and I've always wanted to expand my FEA and CFD skills. I did a course on dynamic FEA and I've completed the course, but since then I haven't really touched that topic again. Now with the summer holidays coming up, I want to revisit the topic, but this time make sure that I keep to it because I can get distracted really quickly. So the 66 days of CIE challenge consists of two things. Number one, learn some CIE for 66 days. Try to dedicate at least five minutes to your learning every day. Obviously, you can spend more time per day on your learning and even go beyond the 66 days limit. Secondly, share the work that you've done on your preferred social media platform and include the hashtag 66 days of CAE. You can do it on Twitter, on LinkedIn, or on the Discord server. Anywhere where you want to share it, you can. So then you might ask, but what is computer-aided engineering? This post from SimScale puts it nicely. Computer-aided engineering is a term used to describe the procedure of the entire product engineering process, from design and virtual testing with sophisticated analytical algorithms to the planning of manufacturing. Computer-aided engineering is standard in almost any industry that uses some sort of design software to develop products. CIE is the next step in not only designing a product, but also supporting the engineering process as it follows to perform tests and simulations of the product's physical properties without needing a physical prototype. And this picture on Wikipedia puts it all nicely together on how all the different packages links together. So joining me on this challenge has a few benefits to you. Firstly, you will be developing a daily learning habit. This is great because I am sure you have experienced this one time or another. Sometimes you start with great enthusiasm on a course and then as you go along that energy sort of dies away. By doing a little bit each day you will keep the momentum going which will get you to the end. Secondly, you will get comfortable in sharing and communicating your work. As engineers we need to be able to communicate our work to fellow engineers and other non-engineers as well. You can get valuable feedback on the work you've shared, learn from others' work that they have shared, and even grow your network and make some friends. Lastly, you will be joining a community that will be holding you accountable. This is the thing that is always missing for me when I start a project. At university, this was usually in the form of the final exam, where if you did not learn for the exam, you would fail. But now, with my personal development, there is no final exam. And this is where the 66 days of CAE community can help you keep on track. So what will I be doing on the 66 days of CAE challenge? Well, starting on June the 1st, I'm going to redo my Dynamics FEA course while teaching myself how to use the software CodeAster. I also want to see if I can actually validate some of the simulations that I will be running. If you are a university student, you can join the challenge with your university's structured program. You can join the challenge with a course um, that you're taking from Coursera or Udemy, or you can join with any personal project that you want to take on. Anyone is welcome. So join the Discord server, the link on joining is in the description below. Introduce yourself and let's get all learning together. See you there. Bye.